Hello, 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 everybody. This is Andrew with Lucid Dream Infinity. Uh, I like to start all my videos with a quick explanation of what lucid dreaming is. Lucid dreaming is when you are asleep and you're having a dream and you sort of look around and come to realize, aha, this is a dream, I'm in a dream right now. And so of course at that point it becomes possible to have all sorts of different experiences and to do all sorts of wonderful, amazing things like flying and exploring the universe, having dream sex, and all of this stuff. So uh, that's what lucid dreaming is. I wanted to do a quick video here on why I think lucid dreaming is a skill that we should teach children and uh, adolescents and teenagers. Um, the idea here is that lucid dreaming enables us to utilize uh, more of our consciousness. It allows us to utilize our minds in a more holistic sense. Uh, it allows us to recruit more mental power. And this is because uh, dreams occur in a purely non-physical space, right? Our dreams are created by our minds. The dream space is, is uh, immaterial. It's a mental space. Uh, the, the dream world is, is created by our minds. And so lucid dreaming creates this really unique opportunity in which we are able to use our consciousnesses without being distracted by all of this physical stimulation happening in the physical world around us, right? We're always being bombarded with sounds and scents and things that we see and touch and feel. So in a lucid dream though, all of that is removed and our consciousness, our, our, our self-awareness, our self-cognizance is in this dimension that is purely mental. And so I think that the, the great advantage here of teaching lucid dreaming to kids and to adolescents is that once they pick up the skill, once they learn how to do it, it's something that has the potential of sticking with them throughout the course of their lives, for the rest of their lives, as long as they maintain the skill. And I think that this, that this is uh, worth looking into and pursuing for a number of reasons. Uh, first and foremost is that uh, lucid dreaming provides sort of a, a safe space for uh, experimenting with different things. And of course, what, going through adolescence is one of the worst times in our lives and there's sort of all of this peer pressure and, you know, things that we go through, you know, with alcohol and drugs and smoking weed and sex and we're just, it's a very sensitive period in our lives. So. First of all, if we teach lucid dreaming to kids and to adolescents, it would give them a sort of greater control of their own internal experiences. So if they wanted to experiment with having sex, well, if they know how to lucid dream, they might not feel like they need to have sex in the physical world, but they could have dream sex in their lucid dreams, right? So that's, that's sort of one consideration. Uh, another thing is, uh, it would have the potential, I think it would have the potential to reduce peer pressure because if you are, are you sort of, you're learning how to master your dreams and your dream experiences, all of a sudden what other people think of you or, or how they perceive you, you know, might become a little less important if you know that you can go home and fall asleep and, you know, essentially have these sort of godlike powers in your dreams that's a really profound thing that's a very powerful thing and I think that there's a lot of potential there to to really kind of reduce the the peer pressure and the tension and the sort of the uh, adolescence angst that that is part of being a uh, a teenager and an adolescent so th that's that's one reason but going beyond that though going going uh, more deeply into it um, when these when when children and when teenagers uh, become adults, uh, go to college, and then eventually uh, pursue careers, you know, they're, they're going to be doing things like, you know, being an engineer, being a scientist, uh, you know, working with technology or being a teacher or doing all of these different things. 
And so the, the thing with lucid dreaming is that it's a skill that they can carry with them into their careers. So let's say that you've got a, a student who learned lucid dreaming as an adolescent, as a teenager, and that person goes on to become a scientist. And they're working on a breakthrough discovery for uh, curing cancer or uh, some, some sort of you know, horrible disease, like multiple sclerosis or uh, even blindness, something like that. And they encounter an obstacle in the laboratory and they just can't figure out how to overcome that obstacle. Well, if, if they've been a skilled lucid dreamer since uh, you know, being a child or being a teenager, they're going to be able to go into the lucid dream space, right, and have a lucid dream and sort of utilize their mental power and utilize their consciousness in the dream state, in that purely mental dimension, in order to help come up with the answer or the breakthrough uh, that they're looking for. And this is, this is not something that is unprecedented. There are at least about half a dozen scientists I'm aware of who have uh, made these sort of breakthrough discoveries in their dreams and have actually been awarded Nobel Prizes for these discoveries. If you watch my other video, uh, Why Bother Learning Lucid Dreaming, the, there are some uh, specific examples of that I go over in the video and also in the comment section uh, to that video. There's a bunch of uh, examples uh, with, with bibliographic sources of these incidences where people have, made, have had these sort of aha moments in their dreams and then uh, that has led to the discovery or the breakthrough in actual physical waking life. So that's the idea. I, I think that teaching this to, to children and to teenagers is really going to help to to set them up for being successful uh, in in the future. And you know, obviously, during the time of adolescence, it would give them a, a framework and a context for sort of safely experimenting with some of the risky behaviors that a lot of people engage in during. Uh, during adolescence. So if we can, you know, reduce that risky behavior by, you know, providing them with, uh, with the knowledge and the skills to be a lucid dreamer, they can do anything in their lucid dream, right? I mean, it's just a dream. You do whatever you want to do. You wake up and there's no, absolutely no consequences. Uh, so so that's, that's part of the idea there. And then, of course, uh, you know, enabling them to recruit a more holistic sort of uh, dimension of, of mental power or, or being able to recruit uh, m more more mental power and more, more of the abilities of consciousness through uh, utilizing lucid dreaming and uh, taking advantage and sort of exploiting and capitalizing on the sort of power and the laser-like focus and intensity that becomes available to us when we are lucid in a dream, right? You can really zero in your consciousness and, and focus on things and, and figure things out uh, in dreams, in lucid dreams. And just as a really quick side note to all of this, there's been this uh, recent dream research done at Harvard University that has uh, some sort of uh, cognitive scientists speculating that maybe one of the reasons we dream at all is to help us uh, uh, organize information, to help the mind organize information and to draw connections with the knowledge and the experiences that we've had, uh, basically perhaps to, to help us learn and to assimilate new information. And I'll put a link uh, to that research in the comments below this video. Okay, I hope that uh, you know this idea gets out there and that it spreads and if you are a child or if you are a, a, a teenager, um, lucid dreaming is definitely a, a really, really cool skill to learn and I would really encourage you to cultivate it because it's something that will serve you uh, for the rest of your life and it's a very profound and powerful thing and uh, definitely something that's worth staying committed and dedicated to. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope it was useful. I'll see you in the next one.